Hey, what's up guys, and today we're going to make a review of the Husk of the Pit. So before we get started, I just want to make sure everybody knows how to get the weapon. Uh, the weapon can be obtained by killing Blade of Crotus on Earth. So, that's pretty much how you get it. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. The rate of fire in this weapon is very high, as you can see right here, and the impact is very low. Basically, the lowest thing you get, and... <laughs> The rate of fire is basically the highest that you can get. So I think that it's normal when the rate of fire is high then the impact is low. So moving on, the range of the weapon is not that good. And the, st the stability of the weapon could be better. Uh, not the worst, but it could be better. So... And reload. Yes, that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, it's not the best reload, but... Uh, it's not too slow, I mean, I've tried it, so... And the magazine is 37, which is okay, so... Uh, it's pretty normal to have a big magazine with when the rate of fire is that high. So, the stats of the weapon is not the best, but uh, keep in mind this is actually a white weapon, an uncommon weapon, I think the white weapon is called. But um, the attack damage of this weapon is 138. Uh, which is uh, it's actually high for a white weapon, I think. But uh, this weapon can be upgraded to a legendary weapon, and after that it can be upgraded to an exotic weapon. And by the way you can upgrade this weapon to a legendary weapon is by getting one of these um, embalming orbs, which you can buy from Eris, and you can buy them from Eris from some black wax idols. Uh, basically only like five so that's that's cheap but uh, the thing you have to be level three with Ares to buy one of these things so the thing I really like about this weapon is the sound when I fire the weapon it's different and I like it so I'm just gonna shut up so you actually can hear what it sounds like Alright, that's pretty much how it sounds like. And the other thing I really like about this weapon is that the bullets of the weapon is green. So if you didn't see it just before, I'm just going to show it again. As you can see there, the bullets is green. And I really like that. Maybe they're going to... It's kind of like... It's going to look like it's going to have some kind of burn damage if you upgrade it. Uh, not to the legendary version, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be no burn damage for that. But maybe the exotic version of the weapons. Um, nobody have it yet, so we don't know. The, the basically, you need some kind of exotic car or... Uh, don't ask me what it's called. But you, you, you need something you can only get out of the heart rate, which will uh, launch in January. So, uh, there's no way you can get the exotic version of this weapon yet. But, um, yeah, it's not the best weapon in PvP, and it's not the best weapon in PvP if you're fighting against high level, uh, high level, yeah, high level enemies. Um, but against low level enemies is good, and of course it is usable in PvP, but it takes some time to kill another dude, because the weapon is wide as I just said so uh, you just need to upgrade this weapon as fast as possible but um, I'm also gonna make a video how to upgrade it the fastest way to upgrade it actually so stay tuned for that it's gonna be out later today or tomorrow so but that's part, that's pretty much it guys and hopefully you enjoyed the video and if you don't know how to get the weapon then you should watch the full video it's my previous video the video I uploaded yesterday or later today, I don't know, but um, not later today, earlier today, sorry, but that's pretty much it guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.